Well, I, I feel very elated. Uh, I feel fulfilled. It means that my colleagues at least think uh, that I've been doing a good job. Um, but I feel also challenged because in coming back, it means that you're saying you can do better than you did first time. So there's a lot of work to do. So um, there's a challenge there. But I'm happy. I'm very happy that there's been continuity for the first time in Nigerian football. And, you know, we have come of age. Today, I believe we have come of age, especially in an election like this that is extremely, extremely transparent uh, for everybody to see. The transparency of the election is, is something that I'm, I'm pretty happy about. So, you know, if, if I come forth uh, as the returning first vice president in a tra such a transparent election with such a margin, I should be proud. I think that, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's um, difficult for you to expect me to reel out all those reforms today. The important thing is that we are open and we are ready and we are determined to, to restructure Nigerian football. That's the most important thing. Uh, we'll take our ideas as we go along, so we don't know everything, but it's a bit difficult today, you know. Uh, I'm sapped, I'm <laughs> but the truth is, that is what we want to do. But there's one thing that, I, that is close to my uh, heart, and I've uh, said it during my campaign. It's something which I tagged uh, for now, let the girl play. You know, we've had uh, under-13s and under-15s um, uh, boys, but we haven't really succeeded with the girls. It's not been our fault. In many of the states, they don't play uh, female football at that level. So, first of all, before we even go and play, we need to go and enlighten people. And so I went on an enlightenment campaign to these states, and then hopefully get the young girls. Because the more of them that we get, the more chances we have in the future to have a super vacuum that is, that is worth its salt. First thing is enlightenment. You know, enlighten the kids and their parents um, and explain to them the pathway that there is. Many of them are not aware. Many of them feel that it's, football is not a game for girls. But it's 2018. So we need to explain to them that, look, there's a pathway for these girls. And then we tell the, the and give them examples and look for role models and show them role models. When you get role models, we have enough role models to show to these parents. They will let the girls play and move on. I think that, you know, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm very happy that you say that um, I have uh, done, done all of that. But I couldn't have done it with the, without the support of my board anyway. So uh, my board members have been fantastic, supporting me, the president, you know, uh, everybody has been supportive. The press, you know, have, have helped a great deal. Because, you know, when you get good press, it's easier to convince people to do things. So that, that has been, you know, it's not all my work. Going forward, there are a lot of things that we need to do, you know. One of the things that I want to champion is the digitalization of the competition department. You know, we had all this problem with yellow card, all this problem with... The, the reason is that things move so fast in that, in that sphere that it's not possible, you know, manually to have 100% control of what happened. So we need to digitalize that. That's one of my projects which I'm going to try and push as much as I can. The second one, obviously, is to get uh, our next under 17 to be all 100% from our uh, youth programs. You know, we had um, a number of them, eight, I think about between us and, and the uh, future the future stars and, and the MPFL uh, pro, uh, 50 program, I think we had about over half of this team. But our youth program should have 100%, and that's where I'm targeting. Well, you know, we, the idea is for us to camp them, uh, explain to them that we, it's a developmental program. We don't, we, don't, we don't want to, we want them to win, but we don't want to put their head as win or nothing. You know, it's boom or bust. No, it's an issue of continual development. We're looking at, we want to win the 2022 World Cup. So, if we start now, there's a chance. Thank you.